Well, that's a heck of a compliment because they're really, really a good basketball team. I mean, they won out of their last 10. And they create problems at this level very few create with their size, their strength, and, and their athleticism. Gosh. Our bigs, one thing you'll see in this game that you'll never see unless you go back and just pick apart the film or if you just zeroed in on them, but it, it was – it was yelled in that locker room from within our team, is the job our bigs did on Samuel the second half. And our goal at halftime was, you may not get a rebound, but you cannot let him get him. Just physically, physically, fundamentally block him out. And he still got five. That was a huge difference. And by being able to stay at home on him, and we changed. We didn't double. We didn't. We prepared the last three minutes. We were going to go to a little hockey shack, but we were going to stay at home at him, because if you double on him, Dunbarton puts you in a tough, tough situation. And then coupled with the way they were shooting the three, so we just stayed home on. Him. But you know, guys, this isn't this isn't done. I mean, this is not done. I mean. If you just go through basketball and these teams that are transitioning, and here we are now in the semifinals of the league, won a postseason game in the CBI last year against the Army. You know, now we advance, we earned a bye, we earned a, you know, the right to, to host. And uh, when young people believe in themselves, and when young people come together and they all want the same thing, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. That's powerful. We can all learn from that. That is powerful. Those, those guys tonight, from our individual instruction sessions, Monday and Wednesday and practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, they all wanted the same thing, and were willing to do whatever it took to get it done. On the floor on those loose balls, I mean, I've never seen the poor official got tied up with Dylan at midcourt. I mean, there was three players and official on the ball in that. And, and you know, and Dylan, he's an amazing basketball player. And uh, you could just sense it. I, I hope you all could. They were all feeding off each other. We only had one kill the first half, but three consecutive stops. And all our message was at halftime, we made a couple adjustments was if we can string together some stops, we will make a run. Let's let's string together stops, we'll make a run. And that's what happened. Would you discuss the, uh, you guys kind of set the tone early in that second half, uh, some hustle plays by Betts to keep all the lines, it, it, and, it. and just seemed to keep building as the half went on? Because it's never about them. They're doing it for somebody else. It's, it, I didn't see one guy grab a jersey and say, look at me but you see them celebrate each other. Should have been in those huddles in that second half. There was one point in the huddle. I just went like this. I just looked. It, it, was, it was incredible. It was CJ. It was JB. It was Dylan. I mean, when Curtin hit that three, I mean, I thought we were going to have a parade. I mean, they were going, they were, again, I know I'm, I'm bragging on them, but I'm with them every second basketball wise we're with them in the locker room um, it is Brad but they're very very special young men and I said to Olivia Russell coming off I said you know I know everybody gets tired of hearing me say I'm the luckiest guy that's ever coached any game any level any sport I, I am I mean those guys this place they couldn't wait to go thank the people they said come we'll thank them and that's that's Sincere. That's not for show. Come on, Ethan. Let's go. Okay. Was, was the plan tonight to go as tight as you did with the rotation? It had to be. Yeah, it had to be. Um, it, it, we were going to try to go Sam DeVault against Samuel if we could kind of get that matchup. Um, Garrett Tipkin's given us such a lift. It's like having another starter. He's playing with great confidence. And, and, you know, they've got great confidence in him. I, I did. Rick, Rick's going to love this. This is not a Rick Bozich, just <laughs> just total pat him on the back. You can ask Kurt Hoff in here if I did not say to Kurt, you know, think of yourself as a freshman in this. 
I mean, he's never been in this before. And he's noticed this week's different. And I said, Kurt, I love Indiana kids because they're used to playing at such a high level in these big-time environments. 